President Donald Trump, before 2016, was a well-known real estate mogul. Scene two, early life and education. Donald John Trump was born on June 14, 1946, in Queens, New York City. He was the fourth of five children born to Frederick C. and Mary McLeod Trump. His father was a successful real estate developer, and young Donald was exposed to the world of real estate from an early age. He attended the Q Forest School in Forest Hills, Queens, but at the age of 13, he was enrolled in the New York Military Academy, a private boarding school. This move was intended to instill discipline and structure in his life. Scene three, college years. After graduating from the New York Military Academy in 1964, Trump attended Fordham University for two years before transferring to the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Wharton was one of the few schools in the country with a real estate program, and Trump graduated in 1968 with a degree in economics. His time at Wharton further solidified his interest in real estate and set the stage for his future career. Scene four, early career in real estate. After college, Trump joined his father's company, Elizabeth Trump and Son, which focused on middle-class rental housing in Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. He quickly became involved in larger projects, and in 1971, he moved to Manhattan where he began making connections with influential people and exploring more ambitious real estate ventures. One of his first major projects was the renovation of the Commodore Hotel, which he transformed into the Grand Hyatt New York. This project was a significant success and marked the beginning of Trump's rise in the real estate world. Scene five, the Trump Organization. In 1973, Trump became the president of the Trump Organization, which he rebranded from his father's company. Under his leadership, the company expanded its focus to include high-profile real estate projects in Manhattan. Trump Tower, a 58-story skyscraper on Fifth Avenue, became one of his most iconic developments. Completed in 1983, it featured luxury residential units, office space, and retail stores. The success of Trump Tower solidified Trump's reputation as a major player in the New York City real estate market. Scene six, expanding the empire. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Trump continued to expand his real estate empire. He developed numerous high-profile properties, including the Trump Plaza, Trump World Tower, and Trump International Hotel and Tower. He also ventured into the casino business, opening the Trump Taj Mahal, Trump Plaza, and Trump Marina in Atlantic City. Despite facing financial difficulties and bankruptcy filings in the early 1990s, Trump managed to rebound and maintain his status as a prominent real estate developer. Scene seven, media presence and branding. In addition to his real estate ventures, Trump became a well-known media personality. He hosted the reality TV show, The Apprentice, which premiered in 2004 and became a major hit. The show featured contestants competing for a job within the Trump organization, and Trump's catchphrase, you're fired, became iconic. His media presence helped to further elevate his brand and public profile. Scene eight, political aspirations. Trump's interest in politics was evident long before his presidential campaign. He publicly considered running for president several times over the years, and he was vocal about his political views. In 2015, he announced his candidacy for the Republican nomination for president. His campaign was marked by controversial statements and policies, but he managed to secure the nomination and ultimately won the 2016 presidential election, defeating Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton. Scene nine, legacy in real estate. Despite his political career, Trump's legacy in real estate remains significant. The Trump Organization continues to manage a diverse portfolio of properties, including residential buildings, hotels, and golf courses. Trump's name is synonymous with luxury and opulence, and his impact on the real estate industry is undeniable. His approach to branding and marketing has influenced many other developers and entrepreneurs. Scene 10, Conclusion. From his early days working in his father's company to becoming a global real estate mogul and the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump's journey is a testament to his ambition and determination. His real estate empire built over decades stands as a symbol of his success and influence. Whether admired or criticized, Trump's impact on the real estate world and beyond is a significant part of his legacy. Chapter two, early life and education of Donald Trump. 
Donald John Trump was born on June 14, 1946 in Queens, New York City. He was the fourth of five children born to Frederick C. and Mary McLeod Trump. His father, Frederick, was a successful real estate developer, and young Donald was exposed to the world of real estate from an early age. Growing up in a wealthy family, Donald enjoyed a privileged upbringing. He attended the Kew Forest School in Forest Hills, Queens, where he was known for his energetic personality and assertiveness. However, at the age of 13, his parents decided to enroll him in the New York Military Academy, a private boarding school. This move was intended to instill discipline and structure in his life, qualities that would later define his business approach. At the New York Military Academy, Trump excelled both academically and in leadership roles. He thrived in the structured environment and developed a competitive spirit that would serve him well in his future endeavors. His time at the Academy was a formative period that helped shape his character and ambitions. These early experiences, coupled with the influence of his father's real estate business, laid the foundation for Donald Trump's future career and ambitions. His upbringing and education played a crucial role in molding the man who would go on to become a prominent real estate mogul and eventually the 45th President of the United States. Chapter 3. Trump's Entry into Real Estate after graduating from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania in 1968, Donald Trump was ready to dive headfirst into the world of real estate. He joined his father's company, Elizabeth Trump and & Son, and quickly set his sights on expanding the family business. His first major project came in 1971, when he secured the rights to develop the Commodore Hotel in Manhattan. This project was a significant risk, as the hotel was dilapidated and losing money. However, Trump saw potential where others saw problems. He partnered with the Hyatt Corporation to transform the property into the Grand Hyatt Hotel. The project was a massive success and marked Trump's arrival as a major player in the New York real estate scene. Riding on the success of the Grand Hyatt, Trump set his ambitions even higher. He launched the development of Trump Tower on Fifth Avenue, which would become one of his most iconic buildings. Completed in 1983, the 58-story skyscraper featured luxury apartments, office space, and high-end retail stores. Trump Tower wasn't just a building, it was a statement of Trump's larger-than-life persona and his vision for luxury real estate. Over the next few years, Trump continued to expand his real estate empire with ventures like the Trump Plaza, Trump World Tower, and the acquisition of the Plaza Hotel. Each project was a blend of risk, vision, and an unyielding drive for success. These early ventures established Trump as a formidable force in the real estate industry and set the stage for his future endeavors. Donald Trump's entry into real estate was marked by bold moves, strategic partnerships, and a relentless pursuit of success. His early projects not only showcased his business acumen, but also laid the groundwork for his future in both business and politics. Chapter four, major real estate projects. After establishing himself as a prominent figure in the real estate world, Donald Trump embarked on a series of ambitious projects that would further cement his legacy. One of the most iconic of these is Trump Tower. Located on Fifth Avenue in New York City, Trump Tower is a 58-story skyscraper that stands as a testament to luxury and opulence. Completed in 1983, it features high-end retail spaces, luxury apartments, and office spaces. The building's atrium, adorned with a cascading waterfall and lush greenery, quickly became a symbol of Trump's grand vision. Another significant property in Trump's portfolio is Mar-a-Lago, a lavish estate in Palm Beach, Florida. Originally built in the 1920s by socialite Marjorie Merriweather Post, Trump purchased the property in 1985. Mar-a-Lago spans over 20 acres and boasts 128 rooms, making it one of the largest private estates in the United States. Trump transformed Mar-a-Lago into a private club, blending historical elegance with modern luxury. Today, it serves as a retreat for the wealthy and influential and has even been referred to as the Winter White House during Trump's presidency. Trump's real estate empire also includes notable properties like the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago. Completed in 2009, this 98-story skyscraper is one of the tallest buildings in the United States. The tower features luxury residences, a hotel, and world-class amenities, all designed to reflect Trump's commitment to excellence and grandeur. In addition to these flagship properties, Trump's portfolio includes numerous other developments, such as the Trump World Tower in New York, the Trump National Golf Club, 
and the Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. Each of these projects showcases Trump's ability to blend risk with vision, creating properties that are not only profitable but also iconic. Donald Trump's major real estate projects are more than just buildings. They are symbols of his ambition, his brand, and his influence. From the towering heights of Trump Tower to the sprawling elegance of Mar-a-Lago, these properties have left an indelible mark on the landscape of luxury real estate. While Donald Trump's real estate ventures brought him fame and fortune, they were not without significant challenges and controversies. The path to success was often fraught with financial struggles, bankruptcies, and legal battles. One of the most notable challenges in Trump's career was his series of bankruptcies in the early 1990s. Despite his remarkable achievements, Trump's business empire faced severe financial difficulties. The Trump Taj Mahal, Trump Plaza Hotel, and Trump Castle were among the properties that filed for bankruptcy protection. These financial setbacks were a stark contrast to the image of success that Trump projected. However, he managed to navigate these turbulent times, restructuring his debts and emerging with a renewed focus on his business ventures. In addition to financial struggles, Trump also faced numerous legal issues. One of the most high-profile legal battles was the lawsuit brought by the U.S. Department of Justice in 1973, accusing Trump and his father of discriminatory practices in their rental properties. The case was settled without an admission of guilt, but it marked the beginning of a long history of legal disputes for Trump. Another significant controversy was the Trump University lawsuit. In 2013, former students filed a class action lawsuit against Trump University, alleging that the real estate training program was a scam. The case was settled in 2016 for $25 million, with Trump admitting no wrongdoing but agreeing to the settlement to avoid further distractions during his presidential campaign. Trump's business practices have also been scrutinized for their impact on workers and contractors. Numerous contractors and vendors have claimed that they were not paid for their services on Trump projects. These allegations have led to lawsuits and further tarnished Trump's reputation in the business community. Despite these challenges and controversies, Trump has consistently portrayed himself as a resilient and successful entrepreneur. His ability to recover from financial difficulties and navigate legal battles has become a key part of his public persona. Donald Trump's journey through the world of real estate is a complex narrative of ambition, risk, success, and controversy. While his major projects stand as symbols of his vision and influence, the challenges and controversies he faced provide a deeper understanding of the man behind the brand. Donald Trump's transition from a real estate mogul to a political figure was not a sudden leap, but a calculated move that had been years in the making. His extensive career in real estate laid the groundwork for his political ambitions, shaping his public persona and providing him with a platform that few other political newcomers possessed. Trump's real estate ventures were more than just business endeavors. They were a series of high-profile projects that kept him in the public eye. His name became synonymous with luxury and success, creating a brand that transcended the buildings he constructed. This brand recognition was a crucial asset when he decided to enter the political arena. One of the key ways Trump's real estate career influenced his political ambitions was through his mastery of media and public relations. Throughout his career, Trump was adept at leveraging media coverage to his advantage. His ability to generate headlines and keep himself in the news was unparalleled. This skill proved invaluable during his presidential campaign where media attention played a significant role in his rise to prominence. Moreover, Trump's experience in real estate gave him a unique perspective on economic issues, which he frequently highlighted during his campaign. He positioned himself as a successful businessman who understood the intricacies of the economy and could bring his business acumen to the White House. This narrative resonated with many voters who were disillusioned with traditional politicians and were looking for an outsider with real-world experience. Trump's bold and often controversial approach to business also translated into his political style. Just as he was unafraid to take risk in his real estate ventures, he adopted a similarly fearless approach in his political career. His willingness to challenge the status quo and speak his mind, regardless of the consequences, appealed to a significant segment of the electorate. 
Furthermore, Trump's real estate career provided him with a vast network of connections and resources that he could draw upon for his political campaign. His relationships with influential figures in business, media, and politics gave him a substantial advantage, enabling him to mount a formidable campaign. In essence, Donald Trump's journey from real estate to politics was a natural progression fueled by his business success, media savvy, and bold personality. His real estate career not only gave him the tools and platform to launch his political ambitions, but also shaped the very essence of his political identity. As we delve deeper into his political career, it becomes clear how his background in real estate continued to influence his decisions and actions on the national stage.